to the film tonight, well, first of all, I don't know anybody here. I saw it on Tumblr, so I was like, I definitely wanted to see about it. Plus, I'm in debt, too. Yeah, I got you. I'm in debt, so. Um, so I've been personally affected by student debt because I'm, I come from a low-income family, um, and so I had to take out uh, Parent Plus loans. Well, so my mother had to take out Parent Plus loans. She's a... She's a single mother and I'm a first generation college student. As far as my family, I'm the first person to graduate high school and go to college. My family, like I said before, was definitely um, a poor family. You know, generation after generation, we've, we've gone through a number of things. Um, some deaths, some, you know, we've been swindled a couple of times. Just a bunch of misfortune. Because my mother is also disabled and uh, has to live off of the state's money, she will not be able to pay off these Parent PLUS loans, which, um, you know, puts us in debt of probably maybe forty to $60,000 at this point. Um, and so I personally kind of made a pact to also pay off her loans, even though uh, legally I guess it's her responsibility. I just don't see that it's right. You don't have to pay it immediately right after you get out of college, but then like when some six months passes, I mean, that deck accumulates. After they found out I, you know, got accepted here, um, they figured, hey, I could probably, like, turn things around or something like that. My family had to make, well, we had to cut back on a few things. There were some lessons that my sister was doing, and what she had to do was, like, she basically had to stop taking them. My dad had to take a dip in his retirement fund. Scholarships and stuff really aren't enough. It, come, it only covers a fraction of the cost, you know, the rest has to come from us, somehow. I am myself in $24,000 in debt. I can't go to the school anymore because it's too expensive. It's $20,000 or it's $20,000 a year, but it comes out more to like $32,000 because of all the fees and stuff. And my first year I went uh, and stayed in these really ridiculous luxury dorms that were extremely expensive and I'll be paying that off for the rest of my life. So. Um, I'm leaving Columbia College because it's too expensive. I can't pay for it anymore. My dad told me that I had to go to a, that I had to transfer to a state school because of how cheap, how much cheaper the tuition would be. So that's affected my life in a pretty serious way. That I'm going to be looking back on this uh, college experience for the rest of my life, saying, "Was it worth it?" And the answer is no. I haven't received a twenty-four thousand dollar education, like not in the least. Unfortunately, I don't know why tuition is so high nowadays. I mean, I wish I knew, but... Well, I think higher education is sort of becoming a commodity, and that's why it's becoming so much more expensive, rather than it being a, a civil right. We have a right to education. We have a right to know what's going on in our world. When you turn that into a commodity, it becomes something that you exchange for value. And the value that you're exchanging it for isn't what the value should be. It shouldn't be monetary, it should be educational, it should be in, like learning. It's not that anymore. Debt and tuition are obviously feeding off of each other. As long as debt is profitable and lenders feel like they can lend money, tuition is going to keep going up because colleges can feel free to charge as much as they want. Since during the financial crisis, public universities came under attack and a lot of state funds for public universities were cut. Those prices were holding prices down uh, across the board, and now that those have taken off, it's really given universities a chance to, uh, uh, you know, gouge tuition prices because college is something that's in demand. You need a degree uh, to, to to be successful on the job market. But increasingly, of course, even having a degree isn't any kind of guarantee of success. I plan on going on and uh, getting my PhD, which is pretty disheartening thinking about how my teachers are treated and. You know, lots of people that recently got their PhDs and who don't think it's worth it and are just in a lot of debt. I absolutely think higher education uh, is a right. Education in general is a right. Education is the foundation of a democratic society. And if you look at almost every other civilized country in the world, they provide education as a social good. Here in America, you know, we're watching tuition steadily raise every single year, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, by the time I graduate, I'm going to be a negative house in debt. A striking con contrast comes when you look at a student protest movement like the one that's going on in Quebec right now, where students are protesting over fee hikes that are bringing the yearly cost of college to something like, you know, $2,000, $3,000. And as we show Americans, you know, that, that would be an incredible deal, but it just shows how how out of whack and how, how far sort of removed from reality the American higher educational system is. Columbia is so 
also stresses this like radical liberal founding, this like the open enrollment, the open opportunity, the liberal minded thought. And that really attracted me to Columbia. And I found cultural studies, which is my major, and I absolutely love it. I love my program, I love my professors, I love the community, it's amazing. But the administration has severely disappointed me. And they began to attack the things about Columbia that made it so radical, that made it so attractive to me. And that is something very disheartening to me because the things that I love the most about this school are up for not existing anymore. And that's really upsetting. But, you know, I do love Columbia. I love that we can have this discussion right now, that we have this film showing right now, and I think that there is hope, and I'm sort of a cynical optimist about it. So, I mean, we'll see what happens with Columbia. I really hope that, you know, things don't continue on the path that they're going, because I think it would be a huge loss. But what does an 18-year-old know about private loans and direct loans? When I was signing those, those promissory notes, I mean, I didn't really look at the interest rate. I didn't really care. I just wanted to get the money so they wouldn't kick me out of school. I had to take out private loans for my first year. And I was 17 years old. I didn't know what it meant to be signing, you know, a uh, $15,000 promissory note. If I could say anything to the administration, I think I would, I would just say that they really, really ought to pay attention to what the students are saying, and they really ought to, you know, go further than that and really pay attention to what students' lives are like once they graduate. Because okay, sure, you kept the students around for four years and they got the degree that they wanted, but, you know, follow up with, you know, the majority of them, and I guarantee that they'll, you know, be in the hole for quite a long time. I think what the Columbia administration needs to realize is that this isn't a group of students simply asking them to find some kind of magic bullet or magical solution. These students know what the reality is. They know that in order to have a functional higher educational system, you have to fight for it politically. What Columbia students are asking their administration to do when they ask them to stop the prioritization process or to stop raising tuition isn't, look, fix my problems, it's join us in making this fight a victory. Join us, if you say that you're educators and committed to the values of higher education, then join us in making those a reality in this country. Don't hide behind the status quo and continue to profit off of and perpetuate a situation which is just obviously bad for education. And anybody who recognizes the value of education ought to realize that it's a bad situation. Um, if I had one thing to say to the uh, administration, um, I'd tell them that they don't deserve their jobs, um, that their jobs are what's making my college experience costs so much more and that they are actually making my experience that much worse and um, I tell them to fuck off uh, and think that they deserve to be fired, almost every single one of them, um, and that they treat my teachers like shit and they treated me like shit. Listen to uh, the students and see you know what their lives are really like, you know, treat them as humans not as consumers then I think that um, I think that education would be a completely different thing.
second. You do betcha. 